Okay, we're going to tell you how we make Phineas and Ferb. First, you need some paper and some pencils, and some artist writers and production crew. Then you sit around and think up stories and funny things for characters uh, um, to do. Um, what? Um, well, what? You said um. I know you. What? Well, not to be pedantic, but really, first you need pencils and paper. Well, sure. I wanted to start at the beginning I because see, I didn't know so. how much. Information, everybody. So paper had. and pencils is the beginning. You don't need anything before that. Well, well, I mean, I guess first you need to have your own show to uh, make. Uh, yes, and, and where do you plan to show this show? What do you mean? It'll oh, be on television. Television, exactly. Oh, oh, okay, so first you need television to have been invented. Yes, you do, and it will be watched by whom? Uh, people. I guess you need... People, you need life forms with a sense of humor yes. and opposable thumbs to invent television. Where would they be living? In a vacuum? <laughs> okay, well, if you want to be a stickler, I, do. I suppose first you need a planet capable of sustaining life. Excellent, I think you got it. Off you go. You want me to start at a planet capable of sustaining life? Exactly. Not a very, very poetic phrase, and there's a lot of steps in between. Well, I have complete confidence in you. All right, uh, okay. You need a planet that has gravity and breathable air. Human beings who'd laugh at things should also be there. After TV is invented, you come up with a show. You sell it to a network and away you go. And then you need a paper and a pencils and such. You have to hire actors so you pay them too much. Of course, every good production has an artist named Herb. And, and we've got one. Here he is. Lovely man. Salt of the Earth. And that's how we make Phineas and Ferb. That's how we make Phineas and Ferb. Oh, and we uh, got to mention the songs. Oh, that's right. And we write some songs. Pencil sharpeners. Shut up.